Hey everyone, welcome back to AK Make Some More. Um, today is going to be a Dollar Tree haul. Um, the last one I did was a couple weeks ago and that was on my TikTok. Um, I will attach it to the end of this video though so y'all can see all the stuff that I actually got last time I went. Um, the stuff that I got today is pretty much the same thing. Sorry, I was eating Cheez-Its. Um, but they got new stuff, they got more stuff there and... Y'all really need to go visit your Dollar Tree. Like, I'm being dead serious. The amount of stuff that they got in now is unreal. Be excuse me. Between their crafting aisle, which is amazing. Um, and also their Halloween stuff. They're adding more and more Halloween stuff. Um, there was only one thing there that they didn't have that I so desperately wanted. Um, so, if anyone on my subscriber list is local to me... Um, here in North Carolina area um and you see this I'll try to attach a picture of it if I can find it um it's the Dollar Tree sells it and it is a truck a black truck that's like wrapped in garland and um it's a Halloween truck um please let me know where it is or if you buy it I will pay you for it and um to get it shipped to me I want one so bad. Um, I am actually obsessed with the red truck for Christmas. Um, on Christmas time, I have everything that is the old red truck with the tree on the back. Um, that is like my favorite thing for Christmas. So, I really desperately want one. But, let me get to what I got. Um, I got more Christmas stuff. I'm going to put some... <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> I got Halloween stuff, y'all. Not Christmas. I got Halloween... But they actually do have Christmas stuff put out at the Dollar Tree. It's crazy. Um, but I got Halloween stuff. And this is one of them. Y'all look how cute that is. Look how cute that is. And I got a purple one too. I couldn't tell myself. Look how cute this is. Look at his little legs. This thing is freaking precious. I can't get over I've seen they have different ones with different um, colored ribbon. I could not get over how cute they was. I just had to have one. Um... And then another thing I got, if you know me personally, um, I am obsessed with sugar skulls. I have been for years. Um, I have them all over my house, my car. Um, I have them up year round. But Halloween time is like my favorite time because I get to find everything sugar skull related. I have cups and bags and fabric and clothes, everything. And my shirt is even a sugar skull. So when i seen this and i tell y'all i was excited i was excited um i probably squealed and my son looked at me like i was crazy and i didn't i already took it out of the package because i had to see it and this thing is enormous <laughs> y'all it's huge look how big it is y'all it's literally it's as tall as me and i'm five foot three <laughs> It's probably five foot two and it's shiny and it has the flowers all over it and it's going on my front door as of um once I make this video. And I will put pictures of it at the end of the video so y'all can see it. And this is what it looks like. I'm so so obsessed. Super excited. Um I also got um well I thought, I thought I had more than I did, but I don't. Um, I got this little treat box. It's a coffin. It's got the vampire in it. They had different ones, um, but I just thought this one was cute, so I grabbed this one. Also, I got this, and I have a really good idea for it. It is adhesive diamond wrap. It has the purple pumpkins on it. They actually have different ones there. They actually have ones that's like, um, I think it's a black diamond and it has orange pumpkins and they also have one with orange skulls on it but i have a really good idea for this if it works if it does i'll let y'all know um it's exactly what i'm going to do with that i'm pretty excited um other halloween stuff we got crafting stuff Let me grab it and eli Um, he got something too, and it's really cool, and I wanted to show y'all. Um, this is the first thing our son, he got, um, a little motor, a little dirt bike thingy, a four-wheeler. Um, he's kind of obsessed with those. Will you bring me your Mickey Mouse? Mm -hmm. 
Um, but he got this. It's a little easel with the paint and the canvas. He loves the color. He loves to draw. He loves the paint. So he got this. Um, he also got a little four-wheeler, like I said. Um, he got a, let me see it. He got a Donald Duck figurine because he's obsessed with Mickey Mouse. Um, and they actually have the whole character set there. And he got this. And you see how big it is. And it's the velvet painting or the velvet coloring page. Um, if I'm correct, these at Walmart and stuff are kind of expensive. So, okay. Um, for some reason, my video just completely cut out. I'm not sure why. Um, my phone's being strange. Um, but he got that. And it, like I said, it's really big. It's a good deal for a dollar. So, um, that's what he got. And then he got also two dump trucks. But they're in the living room and he's messing with those. Um, I got this. This is non-Halloween related. But I love calendars. I have them up. And this one is for next year. Um, and there are little inspirational quotes on each month. And it's super pretty. Um, I love these for writing down important dates and doctor's appointments and stuff like that. So, definitely that was a must have. And then, I'll go over my small business stuff that I got. Um, and then a few more things as I'm talking. I got more of these mesh bags. I got these last time and I used them up really fast. I put my bead keychains in them um, as well as my crochet earrings. But now that I'm making more um, keychain things, I'll be putting different stuff in them. But if you get eight of these mesh bags for a dollar, they're in the baby shower section, which is in the same aisle for our Dollar Tree as the crafting aisle. And y'all should seriously go check out their crafting aisle. Um, they have so much stuff. It is unreal. More stuff that you would not think that the Dollar Tree has. Um, they have canvases. They have um, paints, glues, um, crafting stuff, stencils. Um, glitter paper, um, what else do they have? They have fabric glue, Mod Podge, all kinds of stuff. I did not believe that the Dollar Tree actually had. Um, but I got these. Last time I got the pale yellow ones. Um, I got a few packs of those. And then I got the blue and the pink. Again, these are down the baby. They are baby shower bags. But these things are amazing for small items. Um, I put my crochet bead keychains in them and my crochet earrings and they work perfectly. Um, you can buy these little mesh bags at Walmart, but they're smaller, um, and I think this is a better deal. They're larger, you get more colors, and um, they're a whole lot cheaper. I also got these shipping labels. Usually I just write on a piece of paper and tape it to the front of the package because I don't have a label printer yet. Um, I'm hoping to get one eventually. But I got these. You get 18 labels. You can print on them or write on them. So I'm going to try these out. Um, and I'll let y'all know how that goes. Also, last time I was there, I bought um, a pack of plastic crochet hooks. Um, I like to have backup hooks just in case. But today I seen these and I grabbed both of them. They're aluminum. They have the ergonomic handle. Um, they're plastic. But um, this is a 4.5 and then a 5.5. For a dollar, you can't beat it. Some Dollar Trees actually sell yarn as well. So if you're just starting out wanting to learn to crochet or knit, they do have knit needles as well. Definitely grab some of these and then grab the yarn. And um, that's the best way, in my opinion, to start. And the cheapest way as well, especially if you don't like it, you're not really wasting too much money on it. Because it can get expensive. Um, so there's that. Um, like I said, they have canvases there. Um, they have paints and stuff. It's crazy all the stuff that Dollar Tree has now. Um, and their Halloween stuff is unreal. Like I said, I'll put a video at the end, my TikTok at the end, so you can see. Last time I went, I bought little skeletons. Um, they have big ones, they have small ones, they have bones. Um, I bought a skeleton rat and a skeleton bird. And they look just like the ones that are at, um, Hobby Lobby or Michael's or Joann's or, um, Target or Walmart, even Lowe's and Home Depot, the more expensive ones, they look just the same, but they were only a dollar. It's a way better deal. Um, I would I would rather go there and get all that stuff before um, I go to all the other places. So go check out your Dollar Tree, this place right here, 
but check out that place before you go to the bigger um, stores and pay a whole lot of money for something that you can get for way less and it's the same quality and it looks just the same um, that's my opinion um, also if you've seen videos people will talk about the beauty stuff at the Dollar Tree um, I did walk down the beauty aisle um, because I am um, a nail polish hoarder I don't know why I just love buying nail polish because um, I especially I don't have fingernails so I don't know why I buy it um, but I was walking down there looking at their nail polish and they have tons of lashes if you like to do your makeup and wear eyelashes I personally do not wear makeup I have it in a long time um, but they have the little tweezers that you put the eyelashes on um, the little rolly things for your face I know I probably sound silly for some of these things I have no idea what they're called sorry um, I've seen the gel makeup applicator things sponges um, the little shape like oval shaped brushes that I've seen people use who do makeup all kinds of stuff they have um, I think it's a really good deal it looks just as good as the higher end stuff it's worth a shot um, if you're like me and you don't like to spend a bunch of money on artificial nails um, in my line of work nails don't last very long um, but I do like to do them every once in a while um, so I bought both of these for a doll you can't beat it and it's my style I love teal is my favorite color um, this mint teal color so I bought these and then I just like the classic um, French tip so I bought these as well and they're short um, so I bought them to try out um, also on a side note Walmart has a ton of Halloween nails and oh my goodness y'all it took all I had not to buy every single one they had I'm obsessed with their Halloween um artificial nails um, but also I bought this at the dollar store um, I've never seen it before it is soak off nail caps it helps gently remove gl glitter gel and artificial nails so next time I put on these nails and uh, if I want to take them off I'm gonna try these um, they look really cool. I've never really seen them before. I've never really even seen them at Walmart. So, um, for a dollar, I thought it was worth a shot, especially if they work. Um, so we'll try these out and next time I do a video, I'll let y'all know how this went. Um, or I'll just do a quick video on them. Either way. But I think I went over everything. Um, I think I showed y'all everything I got. And... Oh, I also got something that is Christmas related. Let me grab it real quick. Yes, I know Christmas isn't nowhere near. And usually I do not buy Christmas stuff because it is not one of my most favorite holidays. Um, Halloween is my top favorite holiday of all times. I, if you know me, you should know this. Um, but I seen these and I had to get at least one to try. I've never seen this at the Dollar Tree before. So I'm actually kind of stoked about it. This is a snow globe. Every year, um, obviously since uh, our son has been born, um, we do crafts for uh, with him for um, Christmas presents. And um, our parents love it. The grandparents love it. And I can't get this out, so that's like obviously a good thing. Um, so this year... I think we're going to try to do something with these. You screw off this cap and look, there's a seal. And I'm sure you, obviously you take this out somehow. And it says it is a make your own shatterproof water globe instruction sheet. So um, whenever I get around to making these for Christmas, I'll do a video and let y'all know how this goes. But yes, they have Christmas stuff out already in the dollar store. Um, they have a small section of Thanksgiving fall lots and lots of halloween and already getting a ton of christmas stuff in so i grabbed these while they was there because this is going to be good for um, christmas presents for this year so um run to your dollar store go check out every aisle go check out the beauty aisle go check out the crafting supplies go check out the halloween the christmas decorations the fall stuff um Go check out the whole entire store because it's crazy how much stuff they got. And 
Uh, but I think you can find something there for no matter what you do, what kind of whatever kind of craft you do. They have tons and plenty and plenty of stuff there to get. So definitely worth um, definitely worth to go look at. Anyway, okay, I think I covered everything. Um, if you've made it this far into the video, September the 25th is my Etsy relaunch. That is also mine and my husband's 13 year anniversary. That's why I chose it. It is Friday, um, not this Friday, but next Friday. All of my Halloween stuff will be on there. Every bit of it, the candy corn, <laughs> which I keep getting asked, the caramel apples, the ghost. Um, I will have Frankensteins. I will have Halloween bees. I will have the mystery boxes and bags. Um, I will also have limited edition items. Um, and then maybe a couple weeks from that day, I will put normal non-Halloween stuff up for those of you who didn't want Halloween stuff. Um, and then come November, I'll start doing Christmas stuff. And I'll do Christmas mystery boxes and bags as well. Um, and we're going to have some giveaways during Christmas time to um, spread some Christmas cheer and Christmas love. So, um, I would definitely, definitely y'all need to look forward to that because it's going to be fun this year. Um, so look forward to that um but september the 25th mark it on your calendars or your phones um or go favorite my etsy shop so you will know whenever i um restock i'm not going to tell anybody what time it'll be it'll be random um and once all the items are gone that's it whatever's in stock is whatever's there um i will not remake any more of them i will i will not restock any more of them um unless it's a custom order i will not remake them um also, real quick on the mystery boxes and bags. If you get a box, it's going to be a keychain item and a slightly larger item as well as some Halloween goodies. Um, it'll be a Halloween goodie bag. Um, if you get a Halloween mystery bag, it will be a keychain size item and then a few goodies. Um, and the bag will be cheaper if you cannot get the box, um, whether they sell out or you just can't afford it, which is totally understandable. I get it. I really do. Um, the bags will be cheaper and you will still get something crochet related that's cute and that's cool um and get uh, extra goodies so i wanted to offer both options for um everyone to get a fair chance to get something um so i think that is everything i think i've covered everything i have told every i've um, posted it on tiktok as well as facebook and now i'm telling y'all here um, the Etsy relaunch date because I keep getting so many comments and messages about it. So there is that. Um, and I will be making some more videos probably today, but I will save them for next week. Don't forget Friday is the last day for the giveaway. It ends at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then as soon as it ends, I will do the video for the giveaway winner. And um, which I'm pretty excited about. Also, I'll be making videos of some of this uh, custom orders that I'm finishing up. Mommy. It's kind of being a pain right now, but Mommy. I'm hoping for the best. <laughs> so, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for the likes, subscribers, the Mommy. follows, the comments, the messages, um, the positive words and feedback. It means a lot to me. I take everything to heart. Um, and y'all, all the words mean a lot to me it really does it's what keeps me doing this and keeps me going so i appreciate you all i will see y'all friday um i promise i will not post any more videos this week i know i'm overloading y'all with a bunch of videos usually i don't do this but um this will be my last one for the week until friday um and then all the other videos i make will be posted for next week so um that is all and as always, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll get a notification every time I post a new video. Um, and at the end of this video, I will put pictures of the stuff I got in my last haul that I still have. And then also, oh my goodness, there went my phone. <laughs> also, I will attach the TikTok um, from my last Dollar Tree haul a couple weeks ago of the stuff I got. And so y'all can see that. Um... Oh, real quick. I know I didn't want to make this. I knew I forgot something. I just moved this and I seen it. I forgot to show y'all this that I got from the Dollar Tree as well. How could I forget? Look at this sugar skull. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. It's a notebook. I'm going to be using this for all of my um, orders. 
super obsessed. I've seen this and I was so excited. I'm gonna show y'all the fabric I got at Walmart last night real quick. Um, I got this. I'm gonna be making um, a new mask for myself. I don't make masks for other people anymore. Um, it just became too much. Um, but I'm gonna be making me a mask and probably a matching scrunchie for work. They were sold out of this forever, I feel like. Um, and I found them last night. So I grabbed two of them. So very, super excited. And I'm gonna try not to drop y'all again and show you the other two things I got. I'm gonna hold the phone. So um, this is the other fabric I got. It is Toy Story. Look how cute. It's got Bullseye and Woody and um, Jesse and um, Buzz Lightyear and the little aliens. And I don't know why you can't see. Here we go. Here you go. Um, I got some of those for scrunchies because I made Frozen 2 scrunchies for a custom order. It had Elsa and Anna and Olaf on it. And those turned out super cute. So I'm going to try to do the Toy Story ones. And then I found this fabric. And this is for um, our two-year-old. He is obsessed with dinosaurs right now. Um, and I found it and it is amazing. I'm gonna try to prop y'all back up again because I'm gonna need my whole, both of my hands for this. Okay, look at this fabric I found. It's upside down, lovely. Look at this y'all. <laughs> look at this y'all. It has the T-Rex, it has the Triceratops, the um, Brontosaurus, I believe, the Stegosaurus. It has a Pterodactyl. It has um, the little raptors, I think that's what they're called. The trees. It has so many of them on there. This fabric is amazing. I am going to make him either a pillow out of it or maybe my first ever fabric um, stuffed animal. I'm not sure yet. Um, and if I have any left over, I'm going to make myself a mask for work or a bag. Um, we'll see, but I'm obsessed with this fabric. It is amazing. It is so bright. It's really cool. He loved it. So, um, once I make something with it, I will let y'all know and show y'all. Um, or I might make me a scrunchie with it. I don't know yet, but I'll show y'all. I'll do a video on all the stuff that I make with the fabric once I get around to it. Um, and such so and i keep hitting my phone i am so sorry y'all this video is all over the place i hope you enjoyed this video in my dollar tree haul um i'm going to try out my project idea with this stuff and let y'all know um i'll do a video on or a time lapse um and post it next week and i'll try out all my other stuff and let y'all know how it goes so thank you all for watching and um i will see y'all friday for the giveaway winner and uh yeah so please remember like share and subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll see y'all soon Thank you.